everybody to the latest NFL Draft Geek Film Room. I'm Brian Johannes, and we're bringing you a look today at one of my favorite players, potentially in the NFL, the 2018 NFL Draft, and that is Josie Jewell. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to look at Jewell and, and kind of look at some of the things that he does and, and maybe struggles a little bit on that uh, makes him such a unique player. Uh, first things first, uh, I'm going to take a look here at a play of his where he is going to stuff the run. So he's the middle linebacker here for Ohio State or for Iowa. They're playing Michigan State. Um, and he's not this dominant take on blocker, uh, but he's such an instinctful, crafty player that if you look here, as he goes forward, he's going to come up and stop this run right here. And he's going to use his length, he's going to use his arms to get a little bit of leverage. He's going to push this offensive lineman back and into right into the, def uh, the running back, plugging up that hole, creating a pile, and stopping the run. So he's not a guy that's going to come up and blast the hole, but he's a guy that's definitely pretty crafty, he knows how to use leverage, uh, and he can use that to his advantage. All right, the next play that I'm going to look at um, kind of looks at his change of direction skill. And, and Jules doesn't have those elite skill set. He's not a, you know, sideline to sideline, speed, ta uh, linebacker. He's not a guy that's, you know, a fluid mover like you see um, some of the other prospects in this class. But he makes up for it with his instincts and some acceleration. So here he is playing right here. And Michigan State's going to run some play action. And so we see him having to honor that play action. His main priority is stopping the run. But you quickly see that we got this fullback that's going to be kind of coming out here to the perimeter on a pass route. And he's able to quickly change direction. Look how fast he's able to kind of stop and, and change. And then he's able to accelerate to take away that option. Okay, that option's no longer there. If we kind of go back and look at it once again, and complete speed the he honors it and he's quick look how quick he turns and reacts uh, back up okay, another kind of look at the same thing is one of the things that jewel does so well um, with his instincts and that is he's quick to diagnose the play look how fast you know you see some of these linebackers they, they they've got such good speed that they can sit back and kind of wait to see the play develop and then use that speed and acceleration to go out here. Look what Jewel does here. We're going to see a quick little pitch off to the running back. And if you watch Jewel, he's right here. He reads this right away. Look how quick he reacts, accelerates, and yeah, he gets up the first down, but he's still able to cover that ground because of those quick diagnose skills. And the last play that I'm going to look at kind of is once again same type of thing. Um, okay. So we're going to see here, uh, it's, it's third and one. This is kind of a clutch play. You know, one of these things that Jewel's known for is he always makes plays um, when they count. So it's third and one. You know, it's still, you know, I was still in this game. They need a big stop here, especially in the red, you know, getting to the area that they're almost in the red zone. And he reads this play right away, able to kind of shuffle down the line, find that hole in the, in, the, uh, in the line. And then not only does he come through, he's able to grab and hold on. And if you look really closely here, okay, I'll slow this down real fast. His ability to, let's even slow it down even a little bit further. His ability to grab a hold and then use his arm strength to hold on the ball is is behind and he's able to get that tackle to force a fourth down so once again coming up in the clutch uh you know Josie Jewell is a guy like I said a guy that I really like six foot two 236 pounds he's a two-year captain uh for Iowa you know basically uh you know he started for two years uh started half of his sophomore year so he's got a lot of experience doesn't have those elite skills. He's not a guy like Roquan Smith from Georgia, who's just an ultra athlete running around everywhere. Um, he uses that savviness. He uses. He's got enough acceleration to do well. 
Um, I'd love to take him in the first round, but I don't think he's going to go there. I think he's probably a day two pick, probably an early day two pick. Um, I think he's got enough speed, enough acceleration, that he can be a three-down linebacker in the NFL. Um, I just think a team's probably going to wait until maybe you know the, the second round, but they're definitely going to get a guy that can come in and start right away, and that's kind of where I have him. I gave him that, that second-round grade, a, a guy that can come in and be a starter early in his career but be an immediate contributor to this team's success. Well, I hope you guys like this. Uh, another one of our film breakdowns. Uh, make sure the best way to get these is to subscribe on YouTube to them. They come straight to your email. Uh, follow me on Twitter at draft underscore Brian. Follow at draft or at NFL Draft Geek uh, for these two. And as always, go to NFL Draft Geek for, for all your NFL draft needs. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys liked it.